good morning. Let's get the medieval weapon into action. Got a wee bit of a squeeze where I'm going. Basically, just going down to that septic tank over there. Watch out for the gas, don't wipe it out. Clearly I am a plonker and left the camera on the wrong setting, but what I'm doing, I'm going to try and break up the crust in the septic tank here to make it all nice and fluid so that when the tanker comes and sucks it all out, the pump doesn't blow up like it did the last time. Here we have Kev and I discussing what is the best biscuit out of a custard cream, a chocolate digestive and a chocolate hobnob. Put your comments down below. We're just taking the gas struts off so we can open the door a bit further to get the pump further in and deeper in. All the mixing action and the stirring and the close-up shots, they're all going to be at the end of the video. So if you don't want to watch them, just click off at the end. Towards the end anyway, you might not want to watch it while you're maybe having your breakfast or having your tea. That slurry pump will need a wash as we're taking it out. So the wash is down here next to the trailer, which is needing a wash anyway. So while I'm getting kitted up and stinking, I might as well do this and I'll do that mixer. Give this a quick whirl. Smash it. Right, we're on the move. Just need to come back for that washer. Up and over. All the people who work in the sewage industry. Good on you. Glad it's not me. You can hear them up the top there, grinding away. There's a couple of holes they're patching. Just where grain flows, it's just naturally it's going to wear. And it is 11 year old, so there's a few bits that are needing a bit of TLC. We did a lot of work to it last season, so this service isn't really needing too much. The odd wee hole here or there. Tighten up some chains, check some bearings. Here comes the washer. Out of petrol. Kev's just a way to get some. Tractor's clean. Uh, machine's clean. This side of the actual pump is clean. Just need to do from the far side and make sure I get all the pipes and whatnot. Emptied. Right, we're getting loaded up again. Kev's trying to get her on straight off of the tractor. Hopefully it'll work actually, it'll be handy. Yeah, keep coming. Whoa! It's gonna be easier just taking it off down here and lifting it on with a forklift, so. Right, get this machine home now. It did the job that we we're needing it for. Steady does it. Another phenomenal load. Hold on, hold on. Yep, she's not going anywhere. That looked quite loose actually, but it was just an extra bit of strap I slung over to get out of the road instead of folding it all up. There she goes. Job done. There's no head stuck on that part. Though. Pump dropped off, which actually worked out perfectly because I need to go and look at a sprayer which is only 10 minutes from where the pump was getting dropped off. It's a Coon sprayer and Agricar sales salesman's taken me out to see it so it's someone else's so I don't know if I'll film it. Right we're at a blue yard we're looking for a red bit of kit which isn't here. I've brought my papa along. He loves looking at the kit. Right the sales boys have flocked. We're off to someone else's farm who's who's the owner of the sprayer. We've got a coon specialist and two salesmen, so I'm getting cornered. Right, we'll go and see, have a look at this sprayer. There's Papa there. <laughs> Papa's decided he's away off to see some cows instead. Fair enough. I prefer cows too. Right, just away from the sprayer, I filmed a couple of little bits of the sprayer. I didn't want to start filming loads of stuff because the guy was kind enough to let us come and look at the machine when they were using it and stop from spraying. And we all know spraying days are very minimal at the moment. Didn't want to stick a camera all over his farm and whatnot. That's not what he signed up for. Sprayer, very not dissimilar to sprayer we've got at the moment. 
um, in terms of functionality. Steering axle, the width, that was a 28 meter. Um, we're at 24 at the moment. We'd probably spec a 27 or a 30, ties in well with a three meter drill. That was a 4,200 liter tank, fiberglass tank. Loads of other bits and bobs. Spoke about quite a lot of other stuff. Um, with the sprayer, so we'll probably just get a quote for a 27 and a 30 with sets and control, leveling boom, and kind of compare prices with others. Don't really know what we're doing sprayer wise. It was just they had they, they had the opportunity to go up and see this one, so I thought yeah, I might as well take another one off the list. That I've seen so I've seen that I've seen an Amazon in action. I've not seen a horse in action. I just seen it at the Highland Show, and not seen a Bertha in action. Just seen it at the Highland Show. I've obviously got a Hardy. I've not seen the newest version of the Hardys because ours is obviously quite a bit older. That's where we're at with the sprayer. Actually, I think that logo's awesome. Sorry, it's the first time I've worn this hat. It's just a wee um, sample. I need to sell all the rest of the other logos before I think about buying some of them. But anyway, thank you very much to Joe, the farmer who let us go and see the sprayer. I'm not gonna name his farm or name where it is. Yeah, so food for thought. Quite interestingly, a lot of the bits on it are manufactured by an outside company that a lot of different sprayers use. So they were quite keen on promoting the fact that you don't need to buy straight through us, you can buy third party stuff that's exactly the same and it'll be cheaper basically. Hardy stuff at the moment that we buy, it's up there with the most expensive brand for parts. <laughs> I'd like to be able to crank the hell out of the PTO and get some rhythms going. It's not a macerator this, it's just a pump. I've come to realise. We're getting there, most of the big clumps are gone now, so when the tanker comes, they're not coming today anymore, but hopefully tomorrow it'll be a lot easier on the pump. Last time they blew out the pump because there was all the sludge on top. There's the stages. And by the time you get here, you can just about bathe in it, can't you? Maybe not. A glorious day to mix some shit. Cattle slurry, could deal with that. Human, yeah, I'm glad I'm not doing it every day, that's for sure. Can only apologise if you're eating your breakfast. That's the outlet there, so it all comes in here. And works its way through the tank. Yeah, day 34, 35, with cam cycles to Corfu. It's battering north in uh, Morocco after getting out of here. Pretty big farm country though, eh? Look at the size of these fields. Some cows back there, a bit more water. Prime for farming. Cool, this is the cow setup you want. Hunters of land, hunters of cows, nothing else. The boys out with sides. I had to have a brainwave. <laughs> Buy yourself some equipment. Yeah, not had a shower in four days now, I've just under 500 kilometers cycling, so t shirts grubby, tash is grubby. Apologies for the mick whatever. But yeah, going well. Lap of Morocco, basically complete. Three or four days and be on a boat back to Europe. Today I reckon knock off the 3,000 kilometer mark. A bit more climbing, another thousand meters climbing. It's all good stuff. It's just part of it here, but this traveling caravan of contract farmers. They've got two or three of the old boots for her combines, a couple of balers, old tractors. Came across them about an hour ago while snoozing at the side of the road. 10, 15 of the boys, big load of kit, wobbling down the road about the same speed as me. It's the Mercedes van filled with sheep. We've got more sheep strapped to the roof. One of them at the back, not too happy about it. Try to get free. Cheers, see you tomorrow. Like the video as well. Please.